r slash ask reddit what's the most badass thing you've done guy pulled a knife on me when i was a bit tipsy and waiting for a bus and demanded my wallet without thinking i hit him in the jaw and knocked him out cold stole his knife and walked away still have the knife somewhere around here achievement unlocked switchblade I was pumping gas at a station with my sister, me being 19 at the time and her being 16, when a man, probably like 25 years old, got into the backseat of my car. I started to yell at him to get out of my car. My sister was shaking scared. He then pulled a gun on me and told me to get in the car and drive. Without even thinking I started to make him question himself by saying or what? Are you going to shoot me right here in this well lit gas station? There are other people around. Did you really think this through? He started to look around. Called me a stupid bitch got out of the car and ran off. Edit. Spelling. I heard that if a person pulls a gun on you, you gotta act calm. They'll back away because they don't expect that reaction. I chased a man down at the mall who had stolen a woman's purse. Tackled him. And restrained him until security showed up. Then went to Cinnabon and treated myself. I ate the Cinnabon in one bite. It was the most badass thing I've ever done to date. Damn I wish I could eat a Cinnabon in one bite. The only thing I got out of this. Pulled someone out of an overturned burning car while pregnant. Wait, was the person you pulled out of the car pregnant? Or were you pregnant? Either way, congratulations. You are a badass. When I was 18, I was an EMT. My first emergency call, after we got the guide to the air alive. The a doctor looked at me and said do you know what you did? You just saved that man's life. I'm 23 now and EMS wasn't the career for me. But I still think about that moment a lot. I was young. Probably 11. I had a kid try to tackle me from behind and I flipped him over my shoulder. It was ducking dope. I did the same thing but it was freshman year football. To be honest I didn't even realize what happened I think he just kinda ran into me and I didn't budge. I was bent over so I didn't even see him coming. I was sitting in a chair and I threw a gummy bear up and hit a really high ceiling and I caught it in my mouth without moving uncomfortably to catch it that's where I peeked him oh. Good one. I have a similar story. My friend was throwing a cookie to another friend about 8 featuring away. I dove between them and intercepted the cookie with my mouth. Which was crazy because it was not small and it rotated perfectly in the air to dock with my mouth. No cookie ever tasted so much like victory. Got sober. 4 years and 8 months. Not my most badass moment but once in 3rd grade. We were playing dodgeball with those iconic red rubber balls. And my two friends happened to be on the other team that day and well. I had a ball. Ducking whipped it at one of my friends. Cracked him straight in the face. The ball bounced off. Only to hit my other friend right in his face. I got a collateral headshot and dodgeball. By far my favorite elementary school moment. I was at a small local concert that was being held in a park. It was a bunch of metal and thrash bands. Mostly local acts. But a few touring bands. The gazebo where we were playing was on a small island in a lake. With the only access being a bridge that led to the parking lot. The event organizers had a couple of people stationed on the bridge to take tickets. It was a pretty cool setup to just be available for us to rent out. Everyone was being pretty chill and enjoying the show. There was a mosh pit with a few guys. But there was plenty of room. Then this group of idiots shows up. 70% of this crowd is underage. But these guys show up drunk and with more beer and immediately start causing trouble. They are asked to leave. And told the cops are being contacted. Tensions are high. Yelling and cussing all over. But hey they are leaving now. Maybe we can go back to enjoying ourselves. One of the organizers walked behind them while she was escorting them out. Phone in hand. Just as they reached the bridge. This guy turned around and slapped the crap out of her. I saw red. The stage was about 50 meters from the bridge and I broke into a sprint heading for this guy. Ready to whoop his ass. I'm halfway there I all 5 of these guys turn and run. I'm a big guy. But still. I didn't expect all 5 to run. I get to the chick that got slapped and I stop running. She is safe and I'm feeling like a badass for chasing these guys off. Then I turn to see that all of the no less than 200 people at the show saw the same thing I did and were right behind me. Ready to stomp these guys onto the ground. So, I didn't chase them off myself. 
but I basically led a battle charge. My husband has stage 4 cancer, I'm doing it right now, no one will ever know the things I've had to learn to do and to tolerate, and I'm just like every other badass caregiver who has gone through this. Hats off to you all, silent badass army of widows and widowers. Saved both of my kids from drowning. My dad saved me from drowning in a riptide when I was about 5, I thought he was badass cause of it. I was on a tall rock at a beach and I pretended to water bend a giant wave right as a big wave crashed at the base of my rock and the water rose like 20 feet in the air in front of me. Felt pretty cool. Once I stood out on a tall flat rock by the ocean so my friend could take a pic. I put my arms out palm up like beckoning the sea to rise as a joke and a huge wave came up and crashed all around. Would have made an awesome photo so I excitedly hopped down and asked if she got it but she wasn't even ready with the camera yet. Bah. Buddy of mine in college had an absolutely awful string of family members passing away. He had booked his Amtrak ticket home for something like the third time that semester. The last time he did that, he was two days delayed because of a cargo train derailment on the same tracks. While he was sleeping, I used my Northwest Airlines miles to book him a ticket home in first class. He deserved it and I had earned them just riding back and forth to home. A while back I looked outside my house to see the sky was overcast so I lifted up my hands and snapped my fingers and lightning flashed right in front of my house. I felt hella badass after that moment and recently I thought back to that moment and then decided to snap my fingers again and then a power surge or a short outage took place in my house. This was late in the night BTW. One day I will learn to master this power I have over electricity and exploit it for my own lazy benefits. Got an inflatable kayak flipped somewhere between class 3 and 4 rapids on the Colorado River. Was drugged down about 10 to 12 feet came up under the kayak had to get out from under it in the rapids. Gathered all my gear back in the water and didn't even lose the sunglasses off my face somehow. Also found out a kid died in that same spot a week prior. I used to get in a lot of fights in middle high school. I'm not really proud of any of them and I lost almost all of them. But there is this one I'm really proud of. We were at some dumbass 4th of July party that we thought was super cool at the time. It was at some rich kid's house on a big hill. So there was a steep drop at the edge of the yard. These kids started pushing my friend. Saying he owed them money. To my knowledge he had no idea who they were. He seemed like he was handling himself so I turned around. Probably to talk to some girl who had absolutely zero interest in me. Next thing I know. Two of these kids have my friend by each arm while one of them is punching him in the stomach. I grabbed Punchy in a chokehold and threw him down the hill. The rest of the fight basically consisted of shouting and some light pushing chest bumping while his friends went down to help him up the hill. He was fine but he didn't bother us after that. I'm not a strong guy and I don't promote violence but what can I say? It's a fun story and I was defending my buddy. Held on to a person who was trying to commit suicide by jumping off a bridge until police arrived and we could lift her over the rail. This is the people we need in life. A couple years ago I was not in a good spot mentally. My friend saved my life and I cannot express how grateful I am to have met her. She talked me down out of hanging myself over the phone. Sometimes I think about how different my life would be. Or lack of had I not made the choices that led me to become best friends with her. I stubbed my toe last week while watering my spice garden. And I only cried for 20 minutes. Man now that is badass. Once I threw a pencil into about a 4 inches hole in a wall. Some 15 feet high from 30 feet away. First try. On holiday, waiting for a shuttle bus at 6 in the morning my wife got attacked by a lunatic. Before he could touch her with his fist I jumped in between and punched him in the face. I felt it was a life and death situation. In the end my wife and I scared him off with the help of a street dog that bit him in the ass. I don't consider myself a violent person but I literally saw red. I still have a scar on my chest from where his fist hit me. He was wearing a ring. But never when I see that scar do I feel like a victim. Edit. I'm a woman. Guess that wasn't clear. Patched my leaking tire with a toothpick. That's smart. Got in a guy's face while he was standing on a street corner screaming at his GF. I don't usually brag but making that a-hole back down felt like a million bucks. 
Long story short two guys tried to make my friend kill himself and he tired to end it right there. I stopped him and beat the living daylights out of the two guys. I volunteered at an aquarium and got to hand feed sharks while diving. My brother and I are close in age so we grew up always playing on the same hockey team together. I'm a girl who's one year older than him and was often the only girl on the team. Anyways. During one particular game when he was 11 and I was 12 this one kid on the other team kept on picking on my brother. He finally illegally tripped my brother and my brother slid head first into the boards. The kid got a penalty and went into the box. I decided that when he got out I was going to make my revenge. As soon as he got out I skated towards him at full speed. Put my stick between his feet and flipped him onto his head with one swift motion. Looked down at him and told him to leave my little brother alone. Then happily skated over to the penalty box while my parents cheered me on from the stands. All the kids on my team thought it was pretty badass. So I'm pretty sure that's the most badass thing I've done. It's also one of my favorite memories. When I was in high school there was a man stalking me at my bus stop, Quiet Street, by myself usually but one other girl would sometimes take the bus too. He sexually assaulted me one day and then seemed to take pleasure in taunting me after. I'd call the police from my cell phone every time but they'd take a while to show up and he'd be long gone. One day he showed up and I got fed up. I had a pretty good guess that he was hiding after I called the police and backtracking to the direction he came from. I pretended to get on the bus. But then I got right off again. When the bus drove away. He came out of hiding and I followed him. With the police on the line the entire time. I ended up chasing him but then he went into a secluded area so I stopped. Police didn't make it in time so he didn't get arrested that day, although eventually he did. But that is the most badass and the absolute dumbest thing I have ever done. I saved my dad's life during a medical emergency on the side of the highway last year. The 911 operator couldn't hear me because of all the road noise so I didn't have anybody coaching me through anything. Doing a hazmat response all suited up where I had to contain water reactive and air reactive chemicals that were in an exploded glove a box with nitrogen pouring out. Blood everywhere from the researcher involved on a timer to beat the emptying nitrogen cylinder. One time I was babysitting my 2 year old nephew with my little sister. She was on her phone like always not paying attention. He was sitting backwards on the couch. I was sitting across the room from him. I seen him starting to fall so I jumped up and went over. I swear this next part happened in slow motion like a movie. Right as he was about to land head first on the hardwood floor. I caught him. Flipped him around and put him back on the couch. I could tell he was prepared to start crying. But he never hit the floor so he just sat there confused. My sister missed it all despite sitting right beside him. So when I was like 10 my little league baseball team got into the final game. It was really intense because we were in the 10th inning when there is usually only 6. We were tied for a while. It was looking like the end of the game for my team because we had 2 outs and they were up by 1. There was I guy on 2nd and S guy on 3rd. I was up at bat with 2 strikes. I was prob the worst player on the team at that time. But anyways what would be the final pitch comes. I swing and I connected with the ball. It flew right over first and both of the guys on base got home and we won. All my team came out of the dugout running towards me shouting. MVP. MVP. That is prob my proudest moment ever. I know it isn't much compared to the other stories but I am proud of it. Conventionally badass? I guess when 4 guys tried to mug me. They were totally wasted on something so I was able to disable 2 and scare the other 2 with only scratches and bruises in my opinion. When I kept the guy from bleeding out until an ambulance arrived when he fell through a window. I once farted so violently, it cracked my back. True story. I said no to my mom. Did you die? A bouncer at a club stopped me from going out onto the smoking patio and demanded I show him my tits before he let me pass. I was drunk and in a shit mood. And I hauled off and punched him hard just about right between his stomach and his breastbone. I am short. He was tall. So it was a straight punch on my part and he was not expecting it. He kind of gasped. His eyes got wide. And he staggered backwards a few steps and sat down hard on a brass stool behind him. I walked out on the smoking patio and told my friends um. I think I just ducked up pretty hard and we're probably going to get thrown out. I hope they don't call the cops. Nope. 
When we went to go back in, the bouncer was like go right ahead, mum. One saw my cousin being bullied. I had enough of standing by and just floored the bully with a single push despite him being bigger than me. Cousin wasn't bullied ever again and teachers realized I wasn't just a quiet nerd haha. <laughs> Edit. I just remembered my push sent him through a double door fire exit. So yeah, he didn't try it again anytime soon. When I was around 11 my mom's ex-husband was in the other room beating the shut out of her. I had finally had enough and I just called the police and hung up because I knew they'd come but I couldn't let him hear me talking. I then started recording with my phone so I could have it for when the cops got there. The cops showed up 10 minutes later because we lived in a small town at the time they came just in time to save my mom's life. My mom's ex-husband had been loading his gun. I often think about how things would have gone down if I just let it happen like I let it happen all those years before. This is probably not as badass as everyone else's story but my mom thinks it is. I died before I was born and then came back to life. For two days when I was in the womb the doctors checked my mom and there was no heartbeat, no pulse, and no breathing coming from me. They said I was dead and then two days later my heartbeat started coming back. I don't know if this is badass exactly, but it made me feel badass. I was at this arcade where they had a fake hunting game. You would hold the gun and shoot at the screen. It wasn't super graphic, but enough that some people probably wouldn't really like it. I also live in a really liberal area, so this guy comes by. He's maybe in his 50s, with a girl in around her 20s. He said something along the lines of there's no point having that game here. None of these hippies will play it. He then stopped her from playing it because it was too rough for her. Now I had played this game and gotten pretty good at it. I am also a highly feminine looking girl, and I was wearing one of my most girly dresses. So I waltzed up, high scored the game, then turned to them, flicked my dress, and said your turn. That look on that man's face is something I will treasure forever. Snuck out of a friend's house when his parents came home unexpectedly. We ran down the stairs in the back, but the only way to get out was the garage. I allowed the other two friends to go and had to do the dirty work. I pressed the button, ran and tuck and rolled under the door before the sensors could detect me. We made it out. One night when I was about 8 or 9, female, I heard a noise that woke me up. I'm a very light sleeper, so I wake up to just about anything. The noise sounded like someone opened a window and climbed in. I then heard footsteps coming from my living room so I knew someone was in my house. So I took a metal baseball bat and snuck into my kitchen to find a middle aged man in our living room. I went to a spot where I could see the guy but he couldn't see me unless he decided to go into the kitchen. I waited until he was distracted with his back turned and made my attack. I hit the guy in the head as hard as I possibly could with my metal bat a few times and knocked him out cold. My parents heard the commotion and ran downstairs. My dad holding a weapon as well. They find me with a bat in hand, a grin on my face, and a man out cold on the floor. Police were called and the man was arrested. It was scary as shit, but at least it gave me a cool story to tell. So I was chilling at my really rich friend's house in high school with a few buddies just smoking a joint outside in the winter and we hear whimpering crying. We notice his dog is missing and soon after our worst fear becomes reality as we see it's him we heard out on the frozen lake. He walked a good 200 feet out and fell through. Freaking out and stoned we run to the neighbor's beach that was closer to him. Get in their canoe and start chopping through the ice pushing ourselves forward inch by inch. About 2 stroke 3 of the way out I broke the solid wood door clean in half trying to force ourselves out to him. We make it there and somehow he's still managing to stay afloat in the freezing water after being stuck at least 15-20 minutes. I was at the front of the boat so I got to him first. Now keep in mind this is an absolutely soaked 90 lb. Dry. Dog and I'm 5 feet 7 inches 120 pounds but thanks to adrenaline I pulled him out like he was a chihuahua. We get him to the nearest animal hospital which was like 25 miles away since it was late at night and he made it. Lived another 10 years after that. My first week as a security guard on bike patrol. I saved a 19 year old young woman from committing suicide on the top of a 6 story parking garage. She had just lost her preemie, comma. 
This is not nearly as bad as as a majority of these but one time when I was in marching band we were getting ready to leave for a competition and they were loading up instruments into the bus behind where a few of us were standing. And for whatever reason I looked at my friend and I went into a king fu stance. At that exact moment someone on the bus accidentally banged into the gong, loudly, and it went perfectly with my stance. I grew up in a not so safe neighborhood, and when I was 16 had a job at the local Dairy Queen. One slow night, 5 minutes before closing, I'm working with one other person, a smaller girl, when two guys ride up on their bikes, nobody else was around, and it was already completely dark, they walked up to the door and talked a bit before entering. One of them pulled out a gun from a pocket or his pants and put it into his jacket, and a few seconds later goes to open the door. I still don't know why this was my reaction, but suddenly I, the tall, skinny, pale ginger, took a step towards the door and pointed back outside, made eye contact and said, you're going to have to leave that outside. The guy with the gun stopped and just said oh, politely set the gun outside on the concrete, and came back inside. This was immediately followed by the most okay, just act normal moments in my life. Said bad morning to the teacher in first grade. When I was 14 I walked out of the locker room shirtless and sweaty on day 1 of summer football practice my freshman year of high school and there was a group of cheerleader girls standing out on the sidewalk. And as I walked by I looked at each of them individually and went hey, hi, hey, what's up, hey to like 6 of them. And they all started smiling and said hey, back, this is 100% a stupid story, but the reason it's badass to me is because that was the first moment in my life I ever had confidence in front of girls plus had a positive flirting interaction. I don't know where it came from either, I didn't plan it. One day prior I was the world's most shy, insecure little dude, and the next day I am this shirtless ladies man. Gave birth in my bedroom with no pain meds or medical attention. Tell my dad to shove his ego up his ass. Survived debilitating anxiety and depression and came out on the other side wanting to help others do the same. Three guys attempted to carjack me last week and instead of giving up my vehicle, I put the key in the ignition, put the car into drive, and got out of there. I got 17 staples taken out of my scalp today. At least one of them was pistol whipping me while he tried to get me out of my car. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.